So we are given matrices A and B, and we need to classify each of them according uh, uh, to the fol to the following terms. So we need to identify which of these matrices are real, symmetric, skew symmetric, Hermitian, or skew Hermitian. Well, let's start by <laughs> reviewing all of these terms. So real matrices are matrices whose elements consist entirely of real numbers. So matrices um we can see that in matrix a we have complex terms which is negative i four minus i of i and four plus i uh, so some of these terms co are complex which means they are not real and that matrix a is not real let's write it down so a is not real because it has complex terms terms on the other hand, matrix B is real because all of its terms are real numbers. So B is real because its terms are real numbers. Well, now, uh, let's review what does it mean to be a symmetric matrix. So a symmetric matrix is a matrix is a square matrix that is equal to its transpose. Uh, so a transpose equals a. Uh, now let's check our matrices. So uh, first we need to find the transpose of matrix A. So a transpose equals one O negative I then 0, negative 2, 4 plus i, and then um, i, 4 plus i, 3. Uh, as we can see, uh, as we can see, uh, our matrix A is equal to its transpose, because all the terms stay the same, so that means that the transpose of matrix A equals A, so matrix A is symmetric. Now let's do the same with matrix B. So B transpose equals B transpose equals um, I'll copy paste matrix B here so I can see it. Yeah. So it's seven O four zero negative two ten zero negative two ten and four ten fifteen. So as we can see B transpose also equals to B. So matrix B is also symmetric. Well, now what does it mean to be a skew symmetric matrix? Skew symmetric matrix is a matrix uh, where, um, uh, where uh, is a square matrix uh, which is equal, equal to the negative of uh, whose transpose is equal to the negative of its matrix. So basically A transpose needs to be equal to negative A. So we understand that both of our matrices are not skew symmetric matrices because they are symmetric matrices. So we have A transpose equals A and B transpose equals B. So A transpose does not equal negative A and B transpose does not equal negative B. So A and B are not skew symmetric. Not skew symmetric. Uh, in part D, we need to analyze if our matrices are Hermitian matrices. Hermitian matrices are can be understood as a complex extension of real symmetric matrices, um, and they need to satisfy the following condition.
Uh, let's check if our matrices are Hermitian matrices. To do so, to do so, uh, we will find we will find a this equals one zero i zero negative two four plus i negative i four minus i three so this equals the transpose of the matrix which we have found and this is one o i o negative i negative two four minus i four plus i three so we see that they are actually equal so this condition is satisfied that means that a is a hermitian matrix well now let's check the same for matrix b Uh, since A is a Hermitian matrix, it's not skew Hermitian matrix, uh, and matrix B is not Hermitian matrix, and it's not skew her Hermitian matrix as well. Uh, so we have we have solved our problem.